welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to clean and disinfect your toothbrush naturally. I thought this would be a great video to make because there's just a lot more heightened concern with germs and sickness and everybody just being extra careful nowadays. So I figured I would share some tips and tricks to keeping your toothbrush nice and clean. And if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below. I'd love to have you guys as part of my YouTube community. And let's get right on into cleaning those bristles. Alrighty, you guys, so before we get into cleaning, I just wanted to share a few best practices with you. This is my younger daughter's toothbrush. You can see that the bristles are very frayed. It looks like she's been chewing on it. This, if your toothbrush looks like this, you need to toss it. Dentists recommend every three months that we change out our toothbrushes, but if your kids or your toothbrush starts to look like this, get rid of it. I kept this for you just so I can demonstrate what a nasty toothbrush looks like. So we're gonna be tossing that. Alrighty, on the other hand, this is what a normal toothbrush looks like. There is no frayed bristles. This is nice and ready to use to be able to brush your teeth. So this is my manual toothbrush. And then I also have my burst toothbrush as well. So again, no frayed edges. It is good and ready to clean. The first tip I want to give you is before you brush your teeth and after you brush your teeth, make sure you are washing your toothbrush. So the first thing you're going to want to do is turn on some hot water and you're going to want to move around the bristles like this. The warm water will open up the brushes to be able to get any food particles out. And then you're going to want to go ahead and turn on the cool water to firm the bristles right back up. And make sure you are using your thumb to go ahead and get any food particles out. And that's why I recommend that you, of course, wash your hands before you start doing anything because you're gonna to be touching your toothbrush. And then you would do the same thing with your different toothbrushes. Right now I'm gonna focus on this manual toothbrush. Second tip that I have for you guys, and excuse all the clutter, I'm obviously filming the video right now, but do not put your toothbrushes right next to the toilet. The toilet, when you flush it, especially if you don't always remember to shut the lid, can spew out toilet water and particles and get onto your toothbrush. So I like to keep mine over on this edge of my sink, so the furthest away from the toilet area. So that is tip number two for you there. And then the third tip I have for you guys, if you guys have one of these little baskets or a toothbrush holder, and you guys put, say, your toothbrush, your spouse's toothbrush, your kid's toothbrush, all in one of these holders or toothbrush holders side by side, just don't do it. You guys are touching each other's toothbrushes, spreading the germs. Everybody should have their own independent container um, or cup so that they can store it and it doesn't get cross-contaminated with somebody else's toothbrush. All right, so now let's get on to the actual cleaning of the toothbrush. To clean your toothbrush with baking soda, go ahead and mix two teaspoons of baking soda into one cup of some warm water and soak your toothbrush for about 15 minutes. If you don't want to use baking soda, you can also do salt instead to go ahead and sanitize your toothbrush. So you just go ahead and soak it, kind of slosh it around, and then you're going to go ahead and rinse it out. You can also do hydrogen peroxide. You can soak your toothbrush in there for about 15 minutes if you want to do hydrogen peroxide as well. That's another alternative or soaking it in your mouthwash for about 15 minutes. Another natural and great alternative is using vinegar. So you can go ahead and soak your um, toothbrush into a mixture of vinegar and water for about 15 minutes. I don't personally like the taste, so I'd rather use baking soda um, for me, but I wanted to give you guys some additional options as well. And then you want to make sure that you are also cleaning off the handles of your toothbrushes by using some disinfecting wipes. And that's just because we are constantly touching our toothbrushes and the handles and other items. And these are long forgotten about, but go ahead and just give it a good old fashioned wipe down to go ahead and keep it clean as well. 
my bonus tip for you guys is to get a toothpaste like this one of these automated like squeezed toothpastes is a lot easier for the toothpaste to come out than one of say these tubes especially for kids and so they are not cross contaminating the toothpaste as much so this is just a little bonus tip that i have for you guys and so that is it guys make sure you guys keep your toothbrush away from the toilet remember to disinfect it and sanitize it i will catch you guys in my next video bye guys